Hey guys, I'm here on what might be my favorite part of the entire world. I'm on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I'm on the beach at Kitty Hawk. That's the uh, Kitty Hawk fishing pier behind me. Um, gone up there and operated portable a few times too. Today I wanted to do something different. You know, I think I've built every imaginable vertical to be by salt water that, that I can think of. And you know what, there's so many people that ask me, how about an infed half wave or you know this or that at the beach you know what I, I said you know what i'm going to do it i'm going to finally try it i mean basically everyone knows uh by salt water vertical antenna works better but just i just want to experiment with an infed halfway i've got got a really good infed halfway i got this from chameleon antennas and uh, it comes with the wire pre-cut and everything it is the cha 4010 lightweight infed sloper and you know, I've built a lot of sloper infeds when I was in Europe and uh, I really loved the performance of them. So I wanted to put this one up here by the beach and just uh, have a, it's it's morning. I said, I figured I'd come out here in the morning and, and have a little bit of fun here in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. One of the cool things I like about this one though, is as you see, it's, a, it's an infed, turn it around here, infed, but this can also be used as a dipole. There's a few configurations. They recommending recommend what I usually do with an infed is to feed it from the high point and slope it down. I mean, this thing was designed to be a sloper like that. And they put some recommendations in and uh, on their website and in their manual for how to put this thing up. They also show it as a horizontal flat topper. But the cool thing about this is with the dipole on it, if you want to use it, you can also use it as a sloper or, or an inverted V, or I'm going to give it a shot as a, as a vertical dipole uh, maybe on 10 someday but um right now i want to get this thing up in the air and try it in its true form what it was designed to be a true sloping infant half wave um the cool thing about this thing is is you can use 100 watts with this and you don't need a tuner for 40 20 15 and 10 so we'll probably stick with that i didn't bring a tuner with me i'm going to use 100 watts today and uh and see how this thing works so uh let's let's let me get this thing up and let's give it a try stick around Okay, this isn't pretty, but let's hope it's effective. I've got the uh, wire kind of broadside to the ocean and up on my DX Commander with the coax up to it slowing down. So you can see, uh, not pretty at all. It's down, I've got a piece of PVC driven into the sand and the DX Commander pole. With, I've got the coax taped to it and it's on a pretty major slope, but I would say that's probably uh, 20, maybe 20 feet in the air. Uh, so we'll see, I've got it. The original plan was to tie this thing off with a tent stake, but I've got these uh, dune protection barriers up here. So I've got it, so I tied it to the end of one of them and I've got it sloping straight down. Like I said, not pretty, but hey, it's up there and it's holding. Let's go see what we can do. First things first, let's uh, check SWR with my, bring my uh, my Zygu X5105 along as my antenna analyzer so I can do a sweep. Um, there you go guys, 40 meter band, uh, one to one SWR is perfect. And here's 20 meters once again, one to one, absolute perfect SWR. 15 meters, a little bump up, but still very, very good SWR. I mean, I don't think it gets above uh, 1.3 or 1.4 to 1 so absolutely awesome on 15 meters as well let's go check 10 our last one we'll check that out and then we're going to get on the air same thing with 10 10 is about uh, about the same as 15 maybe a little bit more about 1.4 1.5 1 to 1 in the uh ssb section uh right dead center where the uh the tech american tech area is for ssb but uh perfect swr okay time to get on let's go and here we go guys using my uh yezu FT891 uh, on the old blue bucket there. I'm using the uh, chameleon 50 feet uh, coax there, as you see with the choke at this end. And as you can see from SWR, that's the right thing. Got a LifePo 4 20 amp hour battery. So uh, 100 watts, let's go make some things happen. I'm already listened in on the 10 meter band and it's already, uh, it's rolling. I can hear a lot of activity. So should be able to make some great contacts. Here we go. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo, what's 
Oscar Oscar, hello, you're 5'9, X-ray 2 uh, QSL, you're 5'9, you're number one, first contact for me today. Thank you very much, Deputy Free, QSL, Delta Lima, Five Lima. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, good morning, 5'9 from Oscar 32. QSL, you're 5'9, you're number two from North Carolina. Thanks for number two, have a nice Sunday. This is Delta Kilo 5, Delta Quebec, contact. Take your contact, take your contact. Delta Lima 1, Delta Uniform on car. Delta Lima 1, Delta Uniform on car. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. You're 59 Sugar 07. QSL, you're 59 number 3, number 3 from North Carolina. Thank you for number 3 from North Carolina. Good luck. Yours at Delta Lima 1, Delta Uniform Oscar. North Pole Germany contest. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. Thank you for Oscar Golf Oscar. Very good morning to you. Report 9, Charlie 07. QSL, you're 59 number 4, number 4 from North Carolina. Thank you for number 4. Have a nice day. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, good morning, you are 5'9", Sierra 29, Sierra 29. QSL, you are 5'9", number 5, number 5 from North Carolina. Uh, thank you for the number 5 from North Carolina. CQ contest, Delta Kilo 6, 5, Echo Radio Delta. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, hello. QSL, you're 59, number 6 from North Carolina. Okay, there's a QSL uh, station, and then I will come back to the November 3 station. Kilo 4 station, please. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, you're 58 in the QSL 220. QSL, QSL, you're 59, I'm portable on the beach on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I appreciate the 59 portable. Uh, good luck today uh, out there. Uh, have fun. Thank you so much. 73, my friend. 73. November, Papa 2, Alpha Radio. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. But Alpha, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, 59. Uh, QSL, you're 59 into North Carolina. Thank you, QRZ. Well, I, that was fun. I guess I will say that that was the. Uh, the Autobahn pipeline to Germany because of the German contest. Uh, I went up to 40, and there's a lot of uh, here local U.S. Uh, POTA going on, a lot of pileups. I didn't want to sit there all day and try to do that, but uh, a great receive on 40. 20 as well. 20 today was full of uh, the, the kind of the band was fading away from Europe here. I could hear some German contest again, and, uh, and some POTA, U.S. POTA. I kind of went through that a little bit, picked off a POTA station here or there, but uh, yeah, um, 15 and 10 this antenna kicked but as you can see it was just really uh the way i had a position too it was broadside basically to europe it wasn't pointing out i kind of pointed it at south america thinking uh sloping down that way with uh 10 meters uh it would be um you know be a, a performer but uh problem was is the, the the contest um and that's how it goes uh you know contest weekends you know i could uh even on 20 meters i could hear a lot of stations in europe but they were all calling for germany for the german contest so um hey that's just the way it is sometimes overall though my impressions with this antenna as unorthodox as i had this thing up in the air i mean it's pretty unorthodox the antenna itself you can see with the swr and everything it's a keeper man i like i like this antenna a lot what i really like about this antenna i said this about the last chameleon antenna product that i uh, i played with was um it's got a little bit of Swiss Army knife to it. I can use it in other situations. I can use this as a flat top or as an infant half wave. I'm sure I could do other things from, uh, you know, slope it from the bottom up or whatever. But I really like the fact that I could, if I don't like what's going on, I could uh, flip this thing around and make a, uh, a, a dipole out of it. I think you'll see another video on this thing uh, soon. I'm going to use this as a uh, vertical dipole, possibly for 10 meters in this. Uh, this time, I promise I'll keep the DX Commander uh, 
uh, 10 meter pole I got here with me. I'll keep it straight up as a dipole, but uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a challenge for the pole, but you know what? It held up well too. That's a testament to uh, to Callum's products and the uh, DX Commander pole as well. But um, yeah, it's a great antenna. If you're looking for something that, uh, you know, I like the fact that the, the wire's pre-cut, everything's ready to go. I put it up, perfect SWR. Got out here with 100 watts. Did, you know, yeah, I brought something to check the SWR. Next time I won't, I'll just fire this thing up and go and have a good time with it. So um, if you're looking for something to, uh, that you want to keep permanently, a, a good permanent infed half wave that you want to work soda, poto, whatever, and just get out portable with, this is definitely a, a great product. Um, I do like the fact that it's got BNC connectors on it. So if you're QRP, that's a great thing as well. I popped on a, uh, an adapter for my uh, PL239 uh, coax here. but uh, And this thing normally comes with, uh, you can purchase it with a 25-foot chameleon uh, choked uh, coax wire as well if you want it that way. But but all in all, man, it's a pretty cool uh, cool antenna, and I, and I enjoyed with it. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I love antennas, whether I build them myself or try other people's antennas. I enjoy playing with antennas and seeing what they'll do. I really do. If you're like that too, um, hey, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.